Hi guys. Hey Summers. Welcome to Make Two and an overview of all the new things we've discovered in the Dream Homes update. <laughs> the latest update in Sims Free Play. So let's get stuck right in. There's a lot to get through and want to show it all off to you as efficiently as possible. First thing is we've been playing around with just a standard lot here. I wanted to show you what it looks like from above with homes of different heights spoiler and also patios spoiler <laughs> so you can see them from the town map which we think is really cool it just looks really really good so let's take a look at the actual property now the first thing you get you don't have to complete any quests to do this is rooms of different widths and heights we had before before it was three by three i think was the minimum and now the minimum size of room you can have is a tiny one by two. Wow. And I just did a, a crazy thing here, just sort of did in increments of one. You have one by two, one by three, one by four, one by five, blah, 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 blah. So you can have all these long corridors, uh, just one space wide and as long as you like, which is pretty cool. I then try to build a house just really quickly using different size rooms because you'd have one by two, two by two, two by three uh, and so on. So making use of these slightly smaller width rooms than before. So for instance here we have a two by three entryway and then a one by three toilet, uh, um, powder room sorry, which is about as small as you can get I think a functional room. <laughs> and then here we have a two by something, a two by five kitchen. I think this works really well actually. I think yeah. The bathroom is probably a little small over there, but as a galley kitchen, I actually really like this. A long, narrow kitchen I think works really well. Next, on the downstairs, I tried to go for an L-shaped room. So it's actually two rooms. Um, one is three by, or four by three, one is... With the dresser here. With the dresser here is two by three. And if you use one of these double length archways, which gives a sense of openness. You can kind of, it does look like an L-shape from the the dresser through to the, the tan couch here, tan L-shaped couch. Yeah. They are separate rooms, uh, and that means you can't actually put anything where the doorway is, so you're restricted where you can put blocks, but it does give us a cool sense of space, I think. You look, you, you can see all the way through, and it does feel a bit like one room in this strange shape because you've got the archway going across the entire width of the room. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> And then while we're downstairs, just so you, we're, this is just a weird random room, but just to show you, you can have doorways next to each other. You can have windows next to doors. And I think it's glitched a bit, but there should be windows on all three. I don't know, they've disappeared. They, there should be windows on all three sides. You oh, can there see you there. Can. Yeah, you can see the corner Two sides windows. just from that angle. So you can have windows touching, windows on corners. There's some quirkiness to how this works out, but basically you can just have windows wherever you like first, and that might restrict the furniture you can place there. So I think that opens up tons of possibilities for making really big, bright, open houses. You can also have a second story, but you can see over here, there's only one story. So now individually, if you have more than one building on a property, you can change the story level of that building, each building independently. So now if I wanted to add a second story to this, it would be free because I've already paid to get the second story on the entire lot. Right. I can even add a third story. That's 500,000 now? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it was um, LPs before. Yeah. Okay. So now you can have a three story house and a one story house. So that's pretty weird. I like that actually, more variety. Yeah. The other cool thing, if you have three stories, is before, you know, you had to cycle up one, two, three, one, two, three in the house, in the floors. Now you have this up and down thing over here, so you can control which floor you're at. That's with. helpful. Yeah. And I think I'll be more helpful once we have more floors, which should come out in the later update. This was just another attempt for me to make uh, a strange design, and I think uh, it's just got this long, strange-shaped corridor on the top floor, and a few rooms. So here I tried to make a small um, preteen room just with a bed and a bookcase and because of the restrictions on doors there's nowhere else you could put any items of furniture. 
and I probably pushed the limit of what you could do with corridors and these open uh, archways to give the effect of a corridor as much as I could. But I think what this does show is that you can be very creative now and about the rooms you fit in to make sure they fill up the space when you create a not completely easy to use floor on the one beneath. So it gives you lots more possibilities of how you arrange your space on different floors. Yeah, so you don't you won't get stuck with like dead, black, empty, unbuilt space, yeah. for instance. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the trick is gonna be us all coming up with things to do that make sense with a room that's only one by two. Yeah. I think that, or one by three. I think they are very limited, but I think it'll be fun to find out what we do with them. So that's houses. Next is patios. And here we have a, a patio I've made. Um, and this is quite straightforward. We've got a, a short, very small one we did in the first quest video to this series. But you just add, kind of as if you're painting, you add little by little, um, you can add different sections to patios to make them strange shapes. Also, you can make them different colors, different um, patterns. So here I've actually, this is all one large patio, but because I've used different patterns for different parts of it, you actually can end up doing weird effects like this, where kind of one whole patio is bordered by another patio. So what you mean is you built the inside gray stone part first and built the tile part outside of it second. Exactly. And the tile part is actually made of many different individual um, rooms. I don't know what it, rooms, I'm using quotes with my fingers that no one can see, uh, but rooms that mean you can sort of paint it just a couple of squares at a time so you can get the shape you want. There's also, uh, what are these? These are fences that go all around the patios and you pick one and it goes around the entire patio and even if the patio is different colours it's considered a single large patio. So there's many to choose from and there's there, um, they all look pretty good. The final thing is gates and um, you can put gates next to each other. So if I get my sim coming over here, you can have her coming out of one gate there and then going back through another gate there. You can have gates on a corner as well. And here you can see a slight glitch in the game in that for some reason when, they're, when a double gate is on a corner, it doesn't quite work properly. Uh, and I don't know what the issue is there, but you can see it. It's the same there with mm. a wooden one and the same here with a marble mm. a marble double gate. So hopefully they'll fix that. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, but it does just show you the, the possibilities. I don't think you'd ever want this many gates, but I just wanted to give you a sense of it. The only final thing to say about patios is you can only put outdoor furniture. You get a whole bunch of new outdoor furniture in this update, but you can't put any inside furniture outside on the patios. It's considered the same as a garden. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think this you could use it for making paths because you can have, like with rooms, it can be a minimum of one by two. So I think there's lots of opportunities for some interesting designs, borders to houses, strange paths to houses, those kinds of things. Gardens, hiking trails. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the sky's the limit. So that's it for the building techniques, but there's a whole bunch of other changes in the town itself. So let's take a look. The first one is this. <laughs> a new town sign. Yeah. It doesn't advertise anything unless you can read Simlish, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. You can't interact with it or anything. No, I'm tapping on it now and it doesn't have any effect. Cool. The second thing is you. there's a new house you can build called the Hallway House. And we have a video showing... Uh, what this looks like. While we're in this screen, the other thing you can do, you see this magnifying glass in each of uh, the top rights for each of the houses. If you click on any one of those, it'll show you a preview of the house. You can take a tour, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and from here, down in the bottom right, there's a button that says build. So you could build the house from this very screen. So that's pretty cool. So before you put down money, you can get a good sense of what the buildings look like. Or, of course, you can just check out all our videos. The final thing, and I think perhaps most exciting, is on the island. I know this is going to excite you. There's three new empty lots. They've expanded the island. Yeah. One, two. And then the other side 
if the title there is three. Thank you, Sims Replay. I was so worried that we were not going to have any room in our towns to build new stuff, but three new lots, that's fantastic. The few final things are a bit more uh, mechanistic of how the game works, but there's one super cool one. There is a new plant. See this one? Five life points, social point flower, every plant wins social points, jackpot, 400 social points. So let's give it a whirl. So this costs five LPs, and you can see here the prizes range from 400 social points down to five social points. So whatever you do, you're guaranteed to win at least five social points. But you just, you have to pay five LP five each time, LP. and it doesn't reset the way the simoleon sprout does every four hours. No, I think you can do it quickly. So we're going to do it once, we'll then show you again in real time, so you can see how many it does. Look, we've won seven LPs. Wow. We can now immediately play again. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yay! 23 social points. So, and you can, as you can see, immediately play again. Yeah. So if you've got a pet farm and you've been collecting social points, this is a great way to convert them, if you will, into social points or just, you know, take a gamble and maybe win 400 social points. So that's great. One other thing that I've noticed, it's not hugely <laughs> exciting, but it is does make things a little bit easier. Before, decorations included rugs. But now, rugs have their own section. Cool. I think that's just really helpful because rugs, I think, have been a great addition. The final thing, if you like pools, and this is our um, crazy pool design in my town of Sims Peaks. While the inside of the pools are still very expensive. Where's the inside of the pool? And can cost you up to five million or so. To, to change the outside of the pool the in yeah the paving for the pool has actually got much cheaper i think it used to be five thousand for the sandstone that used to be lps that used to be actually. lps yeah, yeah that's why i don't have it uh, and so i've upgraded it here and the white stone squares i think was four and a half thousand so it would this would have cost over a million and now you can get the whole pool done for a hundred thousand so that's come way down in price, which is really nice. There have been a few other tweaks which make some things give you a bit more XP, some things are a bit cheaper. So I think overall, all improvements to the game that are much welcomed. Cool. That's, I think as we keep discovering stuff, there will be more videos to come as well. Yeah, but I think this is enough to get on with. We hope this has proven useful to you and given you ideas or given you uh, new information of things to test out in your town. If you'd enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned and subscribe to our channel because more videos, particularly about the Dream Homes update, will be coming soon. Thanks for watching.